Um, my Florida Super Bowl on 2012 was Scott Temperman and Paul Bradford yep. from GHI. Um, how long is the sh when did the show start? The show started around about six years ago. Um, it was a spin-off from the domestic show. Um, basically, they took uh, the domestic went to Europe, uh, we investigated Ireland and England, and Sci-Fi thought it was a good idea to continue doing that um, and decided to make a spin-off. And then they got this, these people together and formed Ghost Hunters International. Um, if you could pick one place you would visit, and which one would be your scariest that you have visited, which one would you choose? Would the, you go? the place that I'd love to visit would be uh, Jonestown and Guyana. And the reason being is there was a set of a mass suicide there, and it was uh, very sudden, it was unexplained, you know, everyone didn't expect it, not unexplained, unexpected. And um, they were part of the call, it was very weird. So just to see what would be going on there, I could almost guarantee something happened. It'd be, it'd be very interesting to check out. What's the scary place that you have been to? The scariest place has been probably Shaka Shikari Island. For me, it was off the coast of Trinidad. It's a abandoned leper colony, and um, it was just so vivid because it closed in the 1980s. Everything was still intact. You can really get a feel for how it was, and that, that really drove it home for me. And to this day, I can't shake that image. What was your fate? What was you? What would you like to travel to to investigate? If I could, uh, if I could pick anywhere, I, I want to do the Titanic. Uh, I'd like to actually investigate the water. Um, I'd like the challenge element to it, as well as the fact the history behind the Titanic and things like that. Um, you know, I think you know that that to me would be not a mission really. I mean, it, problematic logistically, it'd be a nightmare. But I would, I would just love the challenge, if nothing else. Um, and, and as far as Scariest of where I've been, I don't know. Um, Costa Rica. No, I don't. See, I don't get scared. That's the thing. I don't get scared when I'm on investigations. I just get startled, like anybody would. But I never really get scared. I think when we had stone storm in, us in Italy, that was probably that kind of sucked. Um, but it, the thing is, they weren't throwing stones at me. They're throwing them at Susan. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. What's the difference between ghost hunters and the GHI? Well, there are a couple of things. First, International. The, the one thing, is, I mean, that's obvious, the places, you know, they just do domestically uh, the United States and we do everything, we have everything else. Um, but also when ghost hunters were formed, they were a team that existed as a ghost hunting team that somehow was found or, you know, offered a job or whatever as a TV show and they ended up having a TV show. Ghost Hunters International, we were not a team before the show. We were actually handpicked and assembled to make a team for the spin-off show. Yes. Uh, when you go out on the field, depends on um, how long would it take to actually film something, depending on the location you've been to. It can take anything. I mean, from 70 to 100 hours to even 200 hours, which then gets whittled down to like 20, 25 minutes. Um, so, you know, you do miss a lot of what we do. Uh, and it, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work for a 20 minute episode, you know? And I know you're doing a movie the I asked Yeah, I got a couple of movies. One's Night of the Living Dead, one's called The Hospital. It's a paranormal slasher, so I have to be involved with that. Because I love slasher movies, I love the paranormal. And one's called Midnight in the Mortuary, and it's going to be like a creep show type of movie. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Now, if you could investigate and, um, with... Um, okay, put that question. Who would you investigate with, Josh Gates or Ghost Hunters? If, if like, if, if you had the choice in one of the biggest episodes, Ghost Hunters. Ghost Hunters, there, there are, I mean, there are family team. There's no way we would not. Ghost Hunters, they're amazing guys. They set the bar for everything. They set the whole ghost hunting motion, uh, ghost hunting field in motion. Because I know that your guys are with them. Ghost Hunters is with them too. Yeah, and we don't, and we don't really work with Ghost Hunters, okay. so it'd be really cool to do. That. Yes. <laughs> One more. Take it away. That's a good question. <laughs> um, go facts. I'm trying to think. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Throw some facts in here for you guys. Um, what's, what season are we? I'm just going to ask that question on myself. Well, how many seasons have you guys had already? We're on season 3.5. If we, when, when we come back, now, now you're, what shows are you competition on Sci-Fi on the Wednesdays? There are no competition. I know, like Haunted Collector. Yeah, but that's not a competition. It's on the same network. Okay. You know? See, as far as competitions concerned, I think it was Dog the Bounty Hunter. 
but he's no longer on a Wednesday night. And they moved it to Saturday night. And what show? Cancelled the show. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anymore, you know? But I, I think to a point, uh, everything is competition. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you're on a like money. you're on a different time or a different yeah. network or a different day, whatever. It's still in the field, so you're still like you know all these shows came out, but all these shows came out. It's you know it's cool that you know it's being so embraced by the public, but Ghost Hunter seems to still be the, the top flagship show. I was about to ask that which so, show was going to which is I mean, the highest on sci-fi. You know you could have a comedy on ABC at the same time our show is on, and that's competition. It's just the way it is, the nature of the beast, that's how it is. It's TV for you. You don't really understand the world of television. So, any of the um, little things you do in the show, we actually will? What's that? Yeah. You go to yeah. that location, you have to see ghosts, yeah. anything. Yeah. Wait, so anybody like, tell me that you're all fake. <laughs> I went to a haunted house, shit happened. Yeah. Shit does happen. But it depends how they... Really really cool. Yeah. We walked out, we got told us to be a bust. We hold ground in. No animal, anything in sight. Believe it. Just could have been hungry. <laughs> and I was kind of freaked out in one room to a point where I feel like I'm being watched 24-7. <laughs> Any way people follow you? Twitter, Facebook? Yes. You can get us on Twitter and Facebook. Um, uh, you can get me on Facebook. It's uh, Paul Bradford GHI. That's uh, Facebook.com backslash Paul Bradford GHI. Or, or you can just go on this Ghost Hunter sci-fi and get you on you, there. You can try and search it, but it generally comes up with my other page, which doesn't have any, any room for fans. It's, it's, it's second page. Limited. It's okay, we well, know what. I can't fade. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make two accounts. I go to the second one. Yeah, so I had to make a second one. And uh, yeah, so that's that's Paul Bradford and Then you've got my uh, Twitter, which is GHI Paul. Yeah, easy. Yeah, and for me, it's just Scott Tepperman uh, is on Facebook because um, I'm doing the other things now, so I kind of wanted to drop the GHI a little bit so it wouldn't confuse everybody. And Twitter is still Scott GHI. Oh yeah, it's very easy to find. And we talk to everybody. We always invite people to, to get on there and, and join us because we communicate, we email back and forth, we uh, stay in touch with them. Stalkers yeah. probably. Uh, hopefully not. We try to avoid them too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. But you always get some. All right. I guess that's pretty much all I can think Excellent. of. Thank, Thank you, guys. Great kiss.